Hello my friends, I am Freddy and in this video I want to show you how I made the Fight With Me music video. Making the music video was a lot of work, you have no idea. Well, now you do know because if you are watching this you will understand why it took me so long to make this video. By the way, I do know that uh, my hair is growing longer and longer. I hope you still like me. Let's hop right into the video and take a look at the making of of the parody. In order to work efficiently I had to make it dark because the sunlight was hurting my eyes. And not just my eyes, it was so bright it was hurting my soul. So I kept looking for darker places because it wasn't dark enough. I was looking for even more darker places. But if you work months on one project you don't want to see sunlight. So I ended up making the parody in my closet. Yeah, it was dark enough now. This folder was created in August of 2015, which is more than two years. The first pieces of the song came in in August of 2015 and they sounded like this. And while you might recognize the song already a little bit, there still was a long way to go until we got to the final song. And you can see all those examples which I got sent by Hub. Hub is the guy who made the music. He did a great job on the track. And if we look at this, I got this in March 2016. So <laughs> about half a year later. So it took us like literally half a year just to finish the music and the reason for that is not that it was so much work. When we started this project it was more like a side project. And we ended up getting the first version of the final song in about April 2016. Here we already got the singer on board, Skyle. He did an amazing job on not just singing but also writing the song, he made the entire lyrics and he sang it and he mixed it to make this amazing vocal track. So huge shout out to Sky, he's an amazing guy. I still wasn't 100% happy with the song. So I gave the song in July, in summer of 2017 to another guy who was a professional and he made the professional mix, which is the final song that you could hear. So this is the final song tuned and ready and once this was done, so literally two years after the first piece of the song was done, the final track was actually done. I started to really begin work on this project 100% and with almost all of my time in about summer 2017. Fun fact, the first thing I did to make the song was go on <laughs> very productive vacation with my good friend Blue Jerome. Blue Jerome is a German guy, I don't know why he has this weird profile picture. Anyways, we went on some vacation to Turkey together and where we made a lot of cool videos there. For example, Spider-Man on vacation and uh, Super Mario parkour video. We also spent some time together to brainstorm and talk about the music video. And so I came up with the idea of two parallel stories. One of the stories, which is Einstein looking for Notch, which keeps continuing uh, the story from Wanted Man. And the other part of the story, which is Hirobrine playing Clash of Clans because he's addicted, while at the same time Freddy Joe and Hirobrine are looking for Shine. Where everything ends in Fight With Me is basically the same place where everything started with the very first music parody I made with Einstein. If you remember the Griefer parody, this is where it all started and now this is where it kind of ended, in the same city. So I wanted to go the story backwards. By the way, it took me a hell of a lot of time to get Shine to voice act for this because he is pretty much gone from the internet. But somehow I found a way to contact him and we're good now again. He did voice act for me, it was the last time he did it. so. I had to end this 
in terms of the story and this is the reason why I had to let him die. I respect his decision, he doesn't want to voice act for Minecraft animations anymore, so he doesn't have to. And this is why we have the sad ending. Let's talk about the technical stuff. While the video is about Clash of Clans, I did of course have a lot of Clash of Clans reference footage and someone had to model all of this. Well, I got some help from Hub, but most of the stuff I modeled myself. I do also have a assets list. If you check this out, these are all the assets that I needed for the parody. One of the characters, for example, is the Barbarian King. He can do whatever he needs to do. So that's just one character. It was a little bit more complicated to make the Queen because she has dynamic hair. You can see the hair is working dynamically and so is the cape and even the belt she has there or whatever that is. That took quite some time to make her. Luckily I got some help. My good friend Hub did not just make the music. Hub also made quite some characters and models for the project. So thank you Hub again. Like this balloon. This one was made by Hub and a couple other of assets. Like the lava hound here. This one was also made by him. He did however only make the model and I had to be sure to make the rig so it works. But still he helped me a lot and thank you for doing that Hub. Then of course there have been other assets which did not take so much time to do. Like the Larrys, the little skeletons. I only had to make a sword and basically use a Minecraft skeleton rig with a little bit of a bigger head. In fact the storyboard was done before I made the assets. We have 115 pictures. So even though my drawing is not very special, still I had to draw lots of pictures to make the storyboard. This is basically the storyboard but edited to the music. That was the first step I did. I, I even did this before making the assets. Then once the assets were done, the next step was to make an so-called animatic. The animatic is basically the entire project but not animated in close detail. This is really just very simple movements of characters. I didn't really animate the characters, I just moved them. One of the most important things about animatic is placing the camera. You can see that the shots are pretty much exactly what you see in the final version of the music video. So yeah, in the animatic I defined every shot, every camera and every character placement. And that took me quite a lot of time to do. In fact, only drawing the storyboard and making the animatic I think took me probably like a month already, if not longer. So making the actual animation only took about one to two months which is still a lot, but I could have speeded up the process if I didn't do animatic and storyboard, which I might do for my next music video and see how much time that saves. This here is a little insider, I don't know if anyone noticed, and if you have seen the very ending of the music video, I got the, the idea from here. This is my favorite game, Final Fantasy X, I love this game, and it ends like this. So that inspiration <laughs> actually came from Final Fantasy X. The next step of course, once the animatic was done, was starting the actual animation. And to be honest, this is my favorite part, because I, I don't really like all the pre-production, which basically everything was up to this point. I love when I actually start working on the final art. So this is the final animation. And I want to give you a little notice. I did livestream a lot when working on this project. For example, I think there is a livestream of me animating this scene. And there is still a playlist. I will link the playlist of me animating down in the description. So if you want to see how I animated this scene for example, you can check it out in my live streams. I ended up having about 44 scenes in total and I got 5 scenes that were not made, but I got a lot of help for five scenes from these people. Huge shout out and thanks to Nistrad, to Hessel, he made two scenes actually, to Smart and T Tech, and Explosive Sheep animations. Those guys helped me to make a couple of scenes, and they animated the background characters, which have been a lot. I gave them the scenes with most background characters. 
and they helped me a lot so huge shout out to them thank you so much and what we see here these are actually all the Cinema 4D files this is the entire parody some scenes are really short some scenes don't even take one second some scenes don't even take half a second and some scenes do take like a minute so it's totally crazy we ended up having 44 scenes this is one example and also I got some professional lighting the entire lighting in this parody was done by Blue Jerome yes he did not just help me with the idea and script he also helped me doing the entire lighting I paid him to do it but still he did it and he did an amazing job to render this music video I was lucky to use Fox Render Farm every scene once it was rendered I still had to go into compositing you might be wondering but Freddy, what did you do in compositing? Why don't you just render it and it's done? I can show you. The actual rendering looks like this. So this is the rendering. And this is what I made it look like. To make his eyes, what I did was using an object pass, which is basically this. Then I added a nice effect on it to make it glow a little bit. And then I also added lens flares to make it look even cooler. Then what I like to add is of course a look to give it a final look. This is basically just changing the colors but it looks more, much more cinematic. Actually making compositing does go pretty fast compared to animating. I may animate on a scene for like a day or two and in compositing I can be done in like 5 or 20 minutes. Some other stuff I added in compositing is stuff like this some smoke some fire some more fire and more smoke basically most of the explosions I did edit in After Effects using some stock footage I do think that this gives you a little bit of a closer look on what it took to make this project I got help from Kilian Cloneman5 who made the outro and then after months of hard work the final piece was finally done. You have seen that we started working on this more than two years ago. I am so happy that it's finally done. If you want to see exclusive insights of me working on new projects, be sure to follow me on Instagram, because this is where you can see new stuff first. Alright guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Love you all, bye!